It all started a few months ago playing with my son when I decided to build a computer case using Lego bricks. And here's what I came up with, a nice little village. Then I moved on to a city format, which I will do again and do it much bigger. And now for the past month, I've been building a pretty awesome Lego Mario world around my computer, which is also why this channel is now known as Bricktronics. These type of builds are what you will see from here on out. Today, I'm going to take you through this build, then have some fun playing with it. The next future build will be a Minecraft Lego themed setup, so make sure you're subscribed if you like this type of content. Now onto the completion of the Lego Mario setup. During this video, keep your eye out for the golden brick. It will be hidden somewhere within. A subscriber, Slapperface, has found them in the previous two videos, so someone please find them before him. Okay, so let me do a quick recap on the original layout in case you missed it. I put the motherboard, GPU, and radiator on the top right base plate, then put the guarded fortress in front of it. I built a basic brick wall structure around the PC and added a Mario tube to the top of the CPU water block. Don't worry, these components do not run hot and no Lego bricks were harmed in making this video. Next is the Resner Knockdown Expansion Pack. Then I would build a Super Mario 64 question block for the corner. Next to that is the Lakitu Sky World Set, followed by the Boss Sumo Bro Topple Tower Set. Then the Mario and Luigi Starter Sets would be scattered about. But I want to do a little more than just put a bunch of Lego sets around the computer as I'm also a mock builder, and I gotta add my own little touch to this build. So let's get started with one of the Mario tubes I put on the backdrop I created. I built a brick wall around it and then topped it off with some green pads. Later on, I would add a small question block above the created platform. For the backdrop behind the question block, I decided to go with a black and white checkered setup. It kind of added a Mario Bro All-Stars look to it. At least that's what it reminds me of. Now for this extra base plate I didn't show in earlier. It is my Waterworld and Frozen Land area. I had to add some transparent blue 1x2 tiles to make it look like there was water around the passing pads. And I think it turned out pretty nice. Going through some Lego pieces, I found some eyes, so I decided to put them on some clouds and I think it adds some nice character. I would then finish up with all the landscaping around the sets to fill in empty space and add more color to the setup. Before we get to playing with this, I do want to briefly go over the question block set. I did a speed build video on this, but let's go through it much faster. It was very satisfying to assemble. Now, let's have some fun. I have to play at least one Lego game on this while I can. My all time favorite is Lego Builder's Journey and it has never been so appropriate to play it until now. Next game was suggested on my day 27 short of this build by Ethan Poe Gamer Poe 9346. Great idea, bud. Here you go. Welcome to Mario Teaches Typing. On your mark, get set, go. Next, I play one of my all-time favorite games on the computer. I mean, my Switch is on the computer now. <laughs> I built this simple frame with some feet attached via Technic studs and pieces. It's actually pretty awesome, and I may do something more with this later. Lastly, I have to play with the Lego Mario character on this set at least once, and honestly it's pretty fun. It makes it even more so knowing that I'm playing on my computer essentially.
When I was done playing around, I even edited this video on the LEGO Mario computer. That will wrap things up for this video. Look for LEGO Minecraft computer content coming soon. Thank you all for watching and go find that golden brick if your name isn't Slapperface. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.